I am on my way to watch Keegan play rugby for the first time. I forgot that this is for the first time. If anyone doesn't know, which I'm sure you all do, but my boyfriend Keegan is a professional rugby player and he has had a couple of years of retirement and he's, he came out of retirement and he's playing this year and this season. This isn't the first game of the season, that is next weekend, which sods law, who's he playing? London, and it's an away game. Where's the stadium that we're going to? Right by my old house. And I don't live there anymore. So it's sod's law that that's happened, but that's next weekend. So I'll be going to watch him in London. I think some of my friends are coming as well. And then we're gonna stay in a hotel. So it'll be a lovely weekend next weekend and that'll be his first game. This is just a friendly match. So I don't know all the lingo to sport guys. I am learning. So my understanding of it is this isn't like a scored, it's a scored match, but it doesn't count towards fixtures or anything like that. Anyway, so I'm on my way now to see him. He's left me a ticket on reception. I don't know where the stadium is. I've not been there before because it's an away game, not a home game. I've been to his home ground uh, quite a few times, but I've not been to this stadium. Don't know where I'm going. I obviously don't know anything about, like, I don't know anything about sport. I do, I am learning rugby league. It's rugby league, not rugby union. So I am learning rugby league and I'm getting there. I'm getting better with the rules. But yeah, I've been to rugby lots of times with Keegan and with the kids as well, but I've never watched Keegan play. So yeah, this is gonna be really, really interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna feel watching him play because Keegan is a prop, which means that he is in the thick of it. He's, you know, the bulk, the muscle that like pummels people to the floor. You know, that also means he gets pummeled to the floor. And uh, when we've been to games before, we sit with all the family of, of the players and you can hear the mums or the girlfriends or the wives of the players going, get off him! When their husband or partner or son gets hit and I'm like, I was like, Keegan, if someone tackles you, I'm gonna go, get off my Keegan! And he's like, please do not do that. <laughs> I wonder if I'll turn into like a, a gobby rugby supporter. Who knows, I doubt it. I'm a bit nervous to be honest guys. I'm also like surprised at myself because I also feel very chilled. It's a weird, I know that's a contradiction, but I feel nervous because I'm like, oh, I've never, I'm driving to a stadium, to a sporting ground. I don't do sport and I'm driving to a sporting ground. Uh, I don't know where to go, where to sit. I'm on my own, I don't have anyone to talk to. However, I do also just feel very chilled about it. I'm like, come on then, I, I'm just going to support my partner. You know, I'll just sit there in the stadium. I bought a hoodie because I'll probably get cold and I bought hat and gloves as well. Maybe I'll treat myself to a cider. Maybe I'll have some cheesy chips. Who knows? I've arrived guys, it's a big stadium. It's bigger than Batley Stadium. There, is, there are no parking spaces. Uh, this is what I get nervous about, guys. I I don't know if this is a slightly autistic trait or anxious state to be in. Oh, I think there's a space there. I might want to go in there. Um, oh no, sorry. There's a family sat in a, like stood in a parking space, but I'm too polite to shoo them along. So here I am driving out of the car park. Yeah, I don't know what sort of trait it is. Oh, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna go to the other car park. But I basically feel better about things if I know where I'm going. Like if I've been there before, if I've been here before, I'd feel fine. Like at Batley Stadium, I know where I can park. I I know where to go. I know where the reception is, etc., etc. Whereas, so like now, this stresses me out the parking situation because I'm like, I don't know where to go. If there's no parking spaces, where do I go? Uh, and the same, like I don't know where reception is. But I'm like, Joel, you're an adult. <laughs> you're 31. You're gonna be able to find reception. Oh, there's Keegan's car. Oh, that's good. At least I'm in the right place then. Hey. Right, let's try and find somewhere. Perfect. And I think it is free parking, but I'll just have to double check. Right, I'm here. I've got 10 minutes spare. I need to prepare myself, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hoodie on. I need the loo. And I need a drink. <laughs> I'm gonna have a cider. Got me hat. Let's go. Yeah. Right, I'm ready. Do I look like a sports fan? Not really. I have to say guys, never in my life did I think I'd live in Yorkshire. Never in my life did I think I would essentially be a wag. If you're not British, the press deem the wives and girlfriends of football players or rugby players or sportsmen in general wags. We call them wags. So, me and Keegan say it should be called WAPS. 
wives and partners. Keegan's also spoken about like events that they're putting on for the players and their partners and they're going to put all the partners in like a little box to you know like a VIP box sort of thing not for this game but for another game and I'm just like oh my gosh it's just going to be me the only boy with all these wives and girlfriends and children like I feel a bit self-conscious but anyway Today it's just me by myself. Here is the stadium. This is South Leeds Stadium in a place called Hunslet. So, oh, there's reception. Fantastic. Wrong reception. Uh, okay, this reception. That was for a sports center. This is for the stadium. All right, guys, I've made it. Got my ticket here. I need to go and find a seat. I have no clue where I am. I'm in a deserted bar, but I managed to get a cider. All right, let's get back into the stadium. I've got my seat. No one's out yet. There he is. He's number 10, guys. I'm annoyed at myself, guys, because I bought my glasses with me and I thought I'd put them in my pocket, but I haven't. I mean, I can see fine, but I wanted HD vision, you know? Missed it on camera, but you just tackled someone. Wow. Two hours later, they won. They won, so uh, it's all done. Um, Keegan did say he'd say hi to me like after the game, like say a quick hello before he goes off for food. But I didn't want to be the keynote to like go down to the side of the pitch and be like, "Hello, is my boyfriend here?" So I I'm just leaving, and I'll see him at home. <laughs> really good. I I can't say I paid attention the whole time. Whenever Keegan got subbed off, I uh, I don't know if they call it that, but when he got taken off a couple of times, I was on my phone. So I was like, to be honest, I'm only here to watch him. Um, but I did enjoy it. Oh my gosh, it is so cold. There are my glasses. I forgot to bring them. That is very annoying. Anyway, oh, it's freezing. Honestly, it's not even that cold. But when you're sat in the bandstand doing nothing, it gets really cold. I'll tell you the, the temp. It's 11 degrees, so it, it shouldn't be that cold. But it's just so cold. My hands are never cold. I'm always warm, even when it's freezing. So when my hands do get cold, you know it's cold. How many times can I say cold? I'm actually going to put my glasses on because my night vision is not great. And I think legally I have to wear them. Favourite parts of of the game probably I don't know what the first tackle watching Keegan like smash into someone and tackle them to the ground that was a shocking and b thrilling and c very attractive <laughs> I was doing a lot of admin I I will admit that I've been chatting with Leah we're sort of chatting through our channel and and you know the feedback from the podcast and all those sorts of things there's a new project happening as well that I'm looking to start with Keegan and I did a bit of research for that. It was good, I did a bit of work and a bit of pleasure. I was gonna have another another cider, but I was like, I, I can't because I'm driving. Well, I probably could have one more, but I don't like to take the risk. I, I'll have like one drink max if I'm driving. Anyway, I can't wait to get home and eat my pasta bake. I'm gonna try watch another few episodes of The Traitors USA and then probably Keegan will be back, so yeah. Should we find I'm trying to remember what time he was home. So basically I've you know when he trains of an evening at 6 p.m. I know he's he, he's home between 8 30 or 9 and I'm trying to remember what happened last weekend but the game was further away. I think he was back at about 7 30 uh, but the game was a lot further away so I imagine he'll be back at like 6 30 maybe something like that. Not that it matters I'll just be at home watching TV but um I'm a busybody. I like to know things. I just like information. So even when I was chatting to Keegan about the stadium, I was like, so is there parking? What's the car park like? Like, how do I get there? When I arrive, where do I? And he was like, you'll find it. Like, you'll, it's fine. Just type it in, you'll find it. Whereas I'm like, I need, I need information. I need you to say, 
The asphalt of the car park is a dark grey. There are about 200 bays. <laughs> you will park in one of them for free. You will then walk 200 yards, cross the road, go over there. Do you know what I mean? I need details. I need to text mum and dad as well and see if they're nearly home. They should, if they're nearly at the hotel, they should be there by now, I would have thought. You need your dinner, don't you? So does Fen, he's on his bed over there. Right, shall I show you what I've got for dinner? I'm very excited. Here we go, chicken pasta bake from M&S. Let's get this out. So it looks a bit like this. Yum! And me and Keegan later are gonna share this billionaire's cheesecake. Maybe I should get it up to room temperature. I've just chucked the bedding that mum and dad used uh, in the, into the washing machine. And I was just thinking, it's just so lovely, this lifestyle now that I have, where it's like, I can host people. Do you know what I mean? So like, mum and dad had never stayed at my house in London because they couldn't. They've never stayed at any of my houses in London because there's never been the room. So to now have a house where there's spare bedrooms is just, so lovely and like coming down and putting the washing on and doing all of that and getting the house clean for guests like i barely even had guests at my other house so it's yeah it just feels like a very grown-up life which i know sounds ridiculous because i am a grown-up and i have been a grown-up for you know 20 years not no i haven't joel i haven't been a grown-up for 20 years been a grown-up for like like 12 years or something but still this just feels I know it's so basic to so many of you but because I think the lifestyle in London is very specific and it's like I imagine everyone's lifestyle in big cities in New York City in Los Angeles in Madrid in Barcelona or wherever you're from I imagine it's the same because the rents are so expensive and because it's an overpopulated city, the living spaces are very small and you just get used to living really small. And now I'm like getting used to having space and it's just very weird. From having a big washing machine and dryer to having spare bedrooms to having like a driveway, even though I, I'm used to all of that at my parents' house growing up in that environment, for the last 11 years I have not had that. So it just feels very nice and I feel very, lucky and very privileged to be in a position where you know that this is my reality so yeah i'm very grateful and i'm just getting used to this new lifestyle which is very nice mm -mm. let's go i've left the oven open to heat up the kitchen and here's some salt because i add salt to absolutely everything gosh this is heavy let's go here he is he's home Hello. my batley bulldog is home hello hello you did very well Thank you, that's very kind. You did, your, the first tackle I've ever seen you do that isn't tackling me, you were like, I, I gasped. I'm allowed to take my Invisalign out. If you want to watch, watch. Don't film me, you weirdo. <laughs> I saw you take out your gum shield when you were chatting to the coach. And I was like, has he got his Invisalign in? And I was like, oh no, it's his, his can't speak with teeth it. shield, gum shield, oh. whatever. Hi <laughs> <laughs> guys. Yeah, well done. You won. Like very it. proud. Yeah. Oh, well done. Okay. okay, you deserve it, babe. You do, and we've got cheesecake now. Woo! I've just given him some painkillers from our drugs store. I don't know if we would say drug store. Drug store. <laughs> well, Americans call it a drug store, don't they? Tablets. Tablets. Illegal tablets, guys. Um, in our vitamin cupboard, which is also needs tidying. How did you feel it went? Rubbish. Oh. Why? Well, they're not the best team. We didn't play very well. No. I mean, yes, we won, but there were things to there's things to work on. Yeah. It's never perfect. It's such a sport. Yeah. I also dropped the ball over the line. A few times. <sighs> so, try. so close. But they don't count in friendlies anyway. So. Yeah, it doesn't. Don't waste it on a exactly. friendly. I'll save it for a proper one. I don't know why I'm stood like. <laughs> <laughs> you need your Crocs on. <laughs> Let's relax now. We're, we'll end this here because we're gonna have a chill. We've got our cheesecake. We might even have a little, I might have a G&T, I don't know. Oh, treat yourself. It is Sunday and we, we, we've got a new thing going. Well, it's, it's Keegan's thing, I can't jump on it. But he's given himself Monday mornings off and now I'm like, I should do the same. And last Sunday night was nice though, because, yeah, that was nice. because we were able to stay up late have a debrief, have spend some time together and then watch Happy Valley. Watch Happy Valley. 
We had some champagne, we just chilled. Yeah, and then did. Monday morning we had a leisurely start. So leisurely. I think that needs to be a new staple in our week. Well, well not, not do the exact same thing, but as in we block out Monday morning. Yeah. And we don't have to spend it together every time. Well, I have to work later on a Monday anyway, so I'm just yeah. starting my day later. Yeah, so, it's good. You know, boundaries. Boundaries are good. Boundaries. I know, we're gonna hang out now and with we'll our see you out. guys. Hang out with our wings out. Yeah, in the living room. I'm not. I've shut the blinds. Bye-bye. <laughs>